Hey Zips fans, Spencer German of the Zips Digital Network here at Infocision Stadium. And hard to believe, but we're just two weeks away from the start of the 2020 MAC football season getting underway. Zips obviously start things off right here at home against Western Michigan. And as preseason camp winds down this week, we had a chance to talk with head coach Tom Arth, junior running back Tion Dollard, and senior defensive lineman Jaquiz Cross. Well, I think we've adapted really well. I was certainly, you know, we've been used to a lot of uh, a lot of different protocols and different uh, requirements that are placed on us. Uh, you know, going back to when we first came back to campus uh, in the summertime. So, uh, you know, it's been a pretty easy transition for us. The, you know, what we've been dealing with now is just being tested four times a week and, you know, getting that schedule on a daily basis. And our players have handled it uh, exceptionally well. And um, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with pleased with how we're how we're doing. Officially, just two weeks away from the long-awaited start to the season. Just how do you feel the team is overall right now at this point? Well, you know, I, I think uh, you know we obviously still have a long way to go. Um, you know, we've had, um, I guess that was practice number ten. Uh, you know, when you're thinking about it, and typically leading up to this point, you're this this close to the season. You've had a whole you've had a whole spring. You've had you know a, a normal training camp. Um, you know, so we still have a lot to do. We still have a lot to accomplish. Uh, but I think in in what we've in what we've had so far and in, in these first ten practices has been uh, has been great to see. Uh, I love how we compete. You know, we aren't out here uh, playing and practicing perfectly, uh, but we are working hard and we are competing. Uh, we're playing with great effort and we're enjoying being out here and for uh, you know for me as, as a coach um, you know I've had a lot of fun coaching this group of players because they really enjoy playing the game and the last thing just to tell the fans about some of the guys that have stood out to you at camp so far and some of the guys that maybe they can expect to see some big things from this year on the field well you know I think you know it's, it's really across the board for us it's uh you know, we, we have a, a pretty new roster um, in terms of obviously all of our, our incoming freshmen, uh, but also had a number of transfers that came in mid-year uh, last year. So uh, we have not had a chance to see any of those guys practice prior to uh, prior to the start of, of camp. So, you know, it's been great uh, just getting a chance to see, OK, what can you know, what can this guy do? What role can he play uh, for our program? So I don't know if there's any, you know, anybody particular that I would that I would, uh, you know, highlight, uh, but just overall uh, with with the with the youth in our in our roster and the number of new players in our roster, it's been really good uh, to, to move around the pieces a little bit and try to figure out what your best lineups are and, and what the best roles are for each guy. After everything that the team's dealt with this offseason, obviously having the season postponed and then it was back on. Just how excited are you to know you guys are two weeks away from playing a meaningful game? I mean, I'm really excited because, like, it looked like they've been coming in and getting, like, good work with um, the new strength and conditioning coach. So, like, all that paying off on the field and everything, it's just like everybody flying around and stuff. Like, I just like the energy that we got going on right now. What would you say are your three best skill sets as a running back out on the field that are going to help you on game day? I mean, getting downhill, um, blocking wise, blocking for my QB, and catching out the backfield. Coach Arth loves using his running backs in a lot of different ways. Um, and I know I've seen a lot of you guys during camp sort of rotating in and out, getting a lot of reps. Just what has that competition been like between that group of running backs amongst all you guys from a camaraderie standpoint, you know, getting to know, kind of know each other, but also, you know, from competing with each other a little bit and pushing each other? I see it as in like a running back of committee. We like a group, so I don't really see like, we competing, but we're running back committee. Like we all pushing each other and out there in the backfield. And the last thing, just what are some of your individual goals for the season? My individual goals as in on the field, I mean, I already reach a hundred yards a game, to be honest, and blocking for my quarterback. After everything the team dealt with this off season from you know, having the season postponed and it was back on, just how excited are you to know you're two weeks away from playing meaningful games? Uh, I'm very excited. I'm very confident in the team and the work that we've been putting in. Uh, I feel like everybody's on the same path and being focused and making sure that we're doing what we need to do so that we can go out there and have fun. You know, I'm just making sure I trust in my teammates, trust in my coaches, so that all I got to worry about doing is just going out there playing for my team and having a good time. So, In what ways do you think you've improved your game from last season? Uh, first and foremost, definitely getting in shape. Uh, that was a big part. Uh, having all that time off during the quarantine period it allowed me to run 
and you know work out a lot. Uh, last year I suffered a hand injury, and then this year I have uh, have both my hands back. So it really helped me out because working hard uh, with the cast it allowed me to get my hand placement better, and I feel like my hands greatly improved from last year. So, yes, sir. Coach Feeney talked to me last week about how you stepped up as one of the vocal leaders on the defensive side of the ball this year. Just what has it been like for you sort of stepping into that leadership role on, on this team? Uh, it's been a great opportunity. Uh, first and foremost, it's a great team and just being able to get into that role with having great leaders uh, before me like John Laco and Josh Ward last year. You know, I'm just trying to make sure I lead how they did and just be the vocal and great leaders that they can so we can come out and have a way better season than last year. And then last thing, just what goals have you guys established as a defensive line group? And then beyond that, as an entire defense, what kind of goals have you guys set as well? Uh, first, on the D-line group, one of the main goals that we work on now is uh, making sure that we run to the ball every single play. Last year, we uh, had several moments where we didn't run to the ball. We was lazy, out, uh, out of shape. Uh, so that's one big emphasis that we made, that we made on the D-line. And overall, uh, our emphasis as a team, as a defensive unit, is to make sure that we're all rallying to the point, making sure that we have more people getting on guys, and making sure that we have more opportunities to have takeaways this year. Again, the Zip season kicks off exactly two weeks from today. Get excited, everybody, on November 4th, right here at home against Western Michigan. In the meantime, be sure to tune in to Zips Live, presented by Spaghetti Warehouse, every Thursday night from 6 to 7 p.m. On radio 640 WHLO to hear more from Coach Arth leading up to the season opener. And as always, you can follow along with all things Akron football over at GoZips.com. Thanks for watching as always, and Go Zips!